Well, hello, hello, and hello. Big Air Phil with another edition of Dude, What the Fuck? And I gotta ask all of these assholes out here, Dude, What the Fuck? Wasting more of our money, and they could be happier about it. Your money, your hard-earned money. You see how everybody's struggling, right? Groceries are sky high, gasoline is sky high, utilities are sky high, rent, mortgage, sky the fuck high. Insurance, sky the fuck high. Everything blowing the fuck up in the last few years because of let's go fucking Brandon. But these assholes, these group of empty suits out here are celebrating by waving foreign flags the wasting of your hard earned money. These bunch of douchebags over here decided it's definitely in your best interest to give another $60 billion to the Ukraine, $26 billion to Israel, and $9 billion to Taiwan. All right. Now, let's do the math here. $95 billion divided by the roughly 350 million Americans equals... $271 for each man, woman, and child to fork over to pay for the spending package. Does that make you feel good? You have $271 you want to just throw away? Well, they expect you do. And they could be happier about it. Oh, you don't believe me? Look at this. Here's after they read the yays todays at one three to one. So again, don't give me this shit. The Republicans are trying to stop me. The fucking Republicans are you're all a goddamn Uta party. You're all globalist cocksuckers. Fucking own up to it. All right. The only thing difference is uh, Republicans like abortion a little less than you do, Democrats. Otherwise, you're all the same bunch of cocksuckers. Here they are celebrating. And look at the flags they're waving. Don't look like American flags. Okay. Look at that. Look at that bunch of bullshit. Where do they get these? Where They didn't just bring them from home. No, again, much like the props they drop off for our rioters and protesters, these pieces of shit were supplied with these things in, at the door when they went in. And I saw some B-roll footage, you know, because again, the internet does have receipts. The mainstream media wants you to not see these things. But there was one of these assholes who was about to stand up and he didn't have his flag in his hand. So he's frantically looking around his seat, under the seat. Blah, 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 where the hell? Oh, they finally found it. Yay, Ukraine, yay. Now, how, how ironic that Trump is again on trial for hush money, right? Again. But what do you think the payments to the Ukraine are? That fucking hush money because Zelensky knows all the shady shit that old Hunter and old Joe are up to. He knows. Why do you think he's commandeered our media all the time? He's over here begging for money. He was on Meet the Press today. He's always here. He's always doing some kind of fucking taping for our media. And remember when he came over to the house when Pelosi was still the speaker? By the way, the only difference between Mike Johnson and Nancy Pelosi is Mike Johnson is a little less drunk. But they're all globalist shills. They don't have any of your interests at heart. Nope, they're all crooks. They're all criminals. And they need to be addressed as such. But remember, Zelensky came over and they draped the American flag over the podium. And Pelosi was practically on her knees sucking that guy off. It was shameful, embarrassing. They should have been arrested for treason. You know, if we had any kind of decorum like this guy wants. But no, this guy just wants decorum because they're waving the American, uh, the American flag. Holy shit. If they were waving the American flag... They would be in jail. But they were raving the Ukrainian flag longer than the allotted time. The House will be in order. The House will be in order. The chair would remind my colleagues to observe proper decorum. Flag waving on the floor is not, is not appropriate. Uh, he means American flag waving is not appropriate. You can wave the Ukrainian one all you want. Uh, okay, for about a minute. Okay, and then we'll have to act like uh, there's something really wrong with this. Well, there is. You piece of shit are celebrating the giving away of our hard-earned tax dollars to yet another foreign war. Okay? And here's your stupid dipshit speaker of the house who looks like he lost his balls a long time ago. Look at this guy. 
Look at this guy. He's a Republican. Yeah, he's going to do the bidding of Trump. Really? Really? Is that, uh, Trump's not the fucking president. Who is he doing the bidding for? Globalist cocksuckers. That's who. You to party. Look at this guy. He looks like Stephen Colbert. Nobody respects this son of a bitch. I love how Fox also says they don't even have the Ukraine banner down there. They go right to Israel, $26 billion, as if the Ukraine funding isn't happening. Shady. Uh, uh, deception by a bitch. You watch Fox News. Uh, they're all, they all suck. They all suck. They're all deceptive. And they all do the bidding of these cocksuckers, okay? Not one of them is reliable. Don't watch the fucking news. Don't bother. Fucking turn it off. I've told you for years, okay? Look at this guy. He... He looks and sounds like Stephen Colbert. Uh, he's got no testicles, though he respects him. But, but let, let's hear him explain why we need to send another $60 billion to the fucking Ukraine. I said these are not normal times. They're not. Uh, the world is, is destabilized, and it's a tinder box. It's a tinder box. It's a powder keg waiting to go off. So I guess Tommy Wiseau is now a speechwriter for these politicians. It's a, it's a dangerous time. Uh, three of our primary adversaries russia and iran and china are oh is china one of our adversaries and why they own so much land in this country why they own our media and our politicians why they make everything that we buy who's the real adversary here working together and there being aggressors around the globe yeah. look at him he's got his head down like he's embarrassed by this as he should be so yeah there you go speaker of the house Yay, he replaced Pelosi. Yay, he's still Pelosi. Just with uh, one less bottle of booze under the table. There you go. There you go. So if you're wondering why your wallet's feeling even lighter, well, your leaders just uh, shipped another $95 billion overseas, which means you personally got to pay $271 extra dollars. Enjoy it. And do like me for once and ask, dude, what the fuck? Thank you very much for tuning in. Make sure to hit that like button. Subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Hit that notification bell. Follow me on Rumble. Follow me on Rumble at Big Airy Full Podcast. All of these videos, plus a bonus one every Monday, will be there. Okay? Until then, I will see you tomorrow. And what the fuck?